Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for attending this morning. Uh, I'd like to uh, welcome our MPP, uh, Mark Gerritsen, today, uh, our mayor, uh, members of council that are here with us, uh, and uh, obviously various uh, community leaders. So uh, thanks for, uh, for being here. It's an exciting day for the city. And first of all, I'd like to uh, introduce our uh, Member of Parliament, Mark Garrison, who was first elected in 2015 uh, as the Member of Parliament for Kingston and the Islands, as you know. And Mark first entered politics in 2006 as a councillor here at the City of Kingston and served as mayor from 2010 to 2014. Mark is a member of the National Defence and Environment Committee on Parliament Hill, and uh, he's here this morning with some exciting news. So, Mark, please, uh, please come forward. Thank you very much for that kind introduction, Gerard, and um, uh, good morning, everybody. It's great to see so many of you here today. Former Mayor Rosen, I see, is over there, um, a number of city councillors. Um, it is an absolute pleasure to be here um, with you today, um, alongside Mayor Patterson, for this very important announcement. As some of you know, the Government of Canada has been working in close collaboration with our provincial, territorial, Indigenous and municipal partners to deliver unprecedented investments in infrastructure. Our goal is to build strong foundations for economic growth and create middle-class jobs. We want to develop inclusive communities where everyone has access to the opportunities they need to thrive. To achieve this, the Government of Canada is investing more than $180 billion in infrastructure projects over the next 12 years. So far, our government has approved funding for over $5.8 billion for more than 2,000 projects across Ontario alone. As we continue to build and strengthen the essential infrastructure communities, uh, uh, infrastructure communities we rely on daily, we, have, we now have our sights set on funding ambitious far-reaching projects that will pay dividends for years to come. Today is another example of how our federal government demonstrates its commitment to building more prosperous cities and towns for future generations. Today, I am very proud to announce that the federal government will be contributing $60 million to the construction of the Third Crossing. And, of course, I now see former Councillor Leonore Foster, who has been a driving force behind this project for many, many years, and it's great to see you here today as well, Leonore. This is a major infrastructure project that will further connect our city and enhance the quality of life for Kingstonians now and tomorrow. The third crossing, maybe the fourth, depending on who you ask, has been talked about for decades, starting when Mayor Frey first contemplated it in 1967. Today, we have taken the crucial step of committing the financial resources towards making that vision a reality. Unlike what Mayor Frey may have envisioned back in the 1960s, this bridge will be built to the realities of the demands that exist today. In addition to the obvious need to relieve con congested traffic between the city core and the east end, this new link will include options for shared and active transportation to encourage Kingstonians to get out and explore their city. The third crossing will help us continue building our community into a stronger and more prosperous Kingston. I would be remiss if I did not take the opportunity to thank our Federal Minister of Infrastructure and Communities, MRG Sohi, for whom I am delivering this news today. Minister Sohi and his staff have worked closely with my office since we first approached him on this topic nearly two years ago. An exceptional community organizer, public servant, and community leader, the minister has understood since day one what projects like this would mean and their importance to a city like Kingston. In fact, a former city councillor from Edmonton himself, he has first -hand, a first-hand understanding of what infrastructure projects like this mean to communities. I would also like to give a huge thank you to Alexandra and Chike in the minister, in minister Sohi's office. They have received 
hundreds of phone calls and emails from my office at all hours of the day and have worked diligently and patiently with us to get us where we are today. And I would also like to acknowledge the collaborative effort which has taken place over the last many months between all three levels of government. Today I am delighted to be announcing this major investment with my provincial and municipal counterparts. Through collaboration between all levels of government, we have been able to accomplish this together. Shortly after I was elected, the Mayor, MPP Koala, and I met to discuss where the funding would come for the Third Crossing if the City chose to proceed with the project. What had become clear to me was that funding projects of this nature would rely heavily on the province's position to identify and prioritize them. And to that end, much of this project and getting it approved was going to be the responsibility of MPP Sophie Koala. Before any funding could be secured from the federal government, MPP Koala needed, to commit, uh, needed a commitment from the province. Thanks to her tireless and persistent advocacy within her own government, a commitment was, wa was made last year which, initi which initiated federal involvement, involvement and paved the way to where we are today. I would also like to thank Mayor Patterson, City Council and City Council for their leadership as well as CAO Gerard Hunt and all city staff who have worked diligently on this project. And of course, one final thank you to perhaps the person in the room who's most unwilling to accept it, Holly Wilson in the mayor's office. Where's Holly? <laughs> Hiding in the back somewhere. When I was, when we first hired Holly in the mayor's office when I was still mayor, which was about five years ago, on day one, she showed up and looked at me and said, I hope you didn't hire me thinking that I'm going to get money for the third crossing because if you did, it's going to take a long time. Five short years later, here we are, Holly. So in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, for as long as I can remember, Kingstonians have been kicking around this idea of a third crossing. From conception to construction, it has been over 50 years of visioning and planning this important project. For me personally, it has been an honor to have been part of the process to deliver this bridge to a more prosperous Kingston. Thank you. Great news, Mark. Thank you very much. <laughs> Um, I, I now have the pleasure of introducing uh, Mayor Brian Patterson and as you know Brian was elected to City Council uh, in, uh, in 2010 as a first term and uh, elected as mayor in 2014. He's been a catalyst for this project and a driving force to gain support at both the uh, provincial and federal levels and in the past few years has worked tirelessly to bring collaboration and discussion on this project. Uh, to the culmination that we have here today. Mayor Patterson, please say a few words. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Gerard. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am absolutely thrilled to be joining you here today for this historic moment in our city's history. Today, is the culmination of more than 50 years of effort and debate and discussion among community members and political leaders across our city who had a vision for a new crossing across the Cataractway River. And today, the third crossing officially moves from being a distant hope and dream to a reality. There are so many people who have been working together to bring us to this point. And so I do want to take a, a few moments to be able to recognize a few key individuals. First of all, MP Mark Gerritsen. Mark, thank you so much for your support and for all of your efforts in bringing us to this point, securing a vital piece of funding, a historic $60 million investment by the federal government that brings us to the finish line and to the starting line and actually building this bridge. Thank you.
I do also want to thank MPP Koala again for all of her efforts in securing the $60 million in provincial funding that we were able to announce last June. Uh, as Mark said, this really was a team effort. It was MP, MPP and Mayor working together to bring all three levels of government together. And, and I do also want to acknowledge the, the support of a few key individuals at both the provincial and federal level. First, at the provincial level, uh, Infrastructure Minister Bob Shirelli, uh, then Minister of Transportation Stephen Del Duca, and at the federal level, uh, Minister of Infrastructure Sohi for their support. And I do, on behalf of the City of Kingston, want to thank both the provincial and federal governments for investing in Kingston and bringing us to the point where we are able to embark on the largest infrastructure project in our city's history. I also want to take a moment to thank the incredible team of city staff that worked so hard to build the case for the third crossing and to assemble the thousands of details that were needed to get this project shovel ready. I want to particularly recognize CAO Gerard Hunt, Utilities Kingston President and CEO Jim Keach, Director of Engineering Mark Van Buren, our Manager of Government Relations Holly Wilson, who we've already heard about, Project Manager Dan Franco, and City Treasurer Desiree Kennedy. I also want to thank the previous mayors and councils from years ago that had that vision and were willing to embark on all of the preliminary work that was needed to get us to the point where we were able to ask for funding from the provincial and federal governments. And of course, I also want to thank the current council. To those councillors that are here, I want to thank everyone. We had a, a vigorous and a passionate debate about this project. And I want to thank those on both sides for all the questions and concerns and ideas that were raised to ensure that when the third crossing was finally approved, that it was the best project it could possibly be. Ladies and gentlemen, this is about more than a bridge. This is about connecting our community in a whole new way. This is about connecting the city's north end to the city's east end. And 20 years after amalgamation, this is about making us truly one city. This bridge will help residents and commuters Buses, cyclists, and pedestrians travel across the city. It will be a much needed detour route for travelers on Highway 401 and a vital alternate route for emergency vehicles. This bridge is going to take pressure off of traffic in the downtown, giving space for tourists and residents to enjoy the core of the city while commuters can get to where they need to be. But this will also be an incredible catalyst for redevelopment rejuvenation and revitalization of the city's north end. This bridge opens up new possibilities for new businesses, new investment, and new services across the Montreal Street Corridor, across the industrial area, and the Rideau Heights neighborhood. With this final piece now in place, we can move forward. The first step will be to assemble the best possible project management team we can with the financial and technical expertise that we need to ensure that this bridge comes in on time and on budget. And with this team in place, probably sometime this fall, we can do the final design work and get ready for an official groundbreaking in the middle of 2019. Ladies and gentlemen, today is a historic day. So today, we celebrate. And tomorrow, we get to work building a 21st century bridge for a 21st century city, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to build the Third Crossing. Well, thank you, Mayor Patterson, and just so you know, we'll get to work today, too. Um, I wanted to take a moment, uh, unfortunately uh, um, MPP Kowal wasn't able to be here today due to a vote that uh, is in the House today. But we thank Sophie and the provincial government for the $60 million contribution that was announced in June and for the Ontario government's nomination of this project to the federal government for infrastructure funding. So thank you and let's have a round of applause for it. <laughs> Thank you.
We're not going to keep you much longer with any of the official parts of, uh, of this morning, but I wanted to take a couple of moments just to reflect on this particular project. And uh, when we talk about community building, uh, and, and in reference to uh, <coughs> Mark's comments about 50 years in the planning, it truly has been a 50-year discussion about building this particular bridge. I had the privilege of moving to Kingston in uh, 1999 and to pick up a, a job with the newly amalgamated city of Kingston in the, uh, in the financial portfolio. And at that time, we were able to build some strategies and policies and, and systems and, and um, long-term vision that was enab would enable us to build the financial capacity to be able to deal with our infrastructure that is critical to building community. The job at City Hall by City Hall staff is to build community every single day. And we can only do that with the support and inclusiveness and discussion and input and engagement by all of the people in the community to help us build the best community possible. I've had the privilege of being the CEO for the last almost 10 years and I have seen enormous advancements in infrastructure, water plants, sewer plants, infrastructure that will be lasting for years to come that makes the city a smart and livable community. This is an exciting day for the city. I thank all of the political um, uh, representatives, uh, both current and past, for your leadership and vision in building community and setting direction so staff can deliver on the services that we need to provide for this community. This is a historic day. I stand here with making a commitment that staff will begin the work, and the mayor says we can start tomorrow, so we'll do that, to get this project underway in the most efficient and effective way possible. You have our commitment to doing that. Mark Van Buren, who is here in this room, um, will be in charge and lead this particular project from beginning to end. And thank you, Mark, for the work you've done so far. Let's have a hand for his team. <laughs> we look forward to how this link will enhance the quality of life for our residents, increasing the options for active transportation transit and greater connectivity across the community. I thank you for attending this announcement this morning. This concludes the formalities. We will now have the opportunity for some media interviews for those and including Mark who may want to be interviewed on some of the technical aspects. And I invite you to share in some refreshments and conversation as we conclude our remarks this morning. Thank you very much.